Hi everybody, good morning. My name is Sheridan, I'm here at the Billie Jean King Main Library to read you a story and sing you a couple of songs in English and in Spanish, okay? Buenos días a todos, me llamo Sheridan, estoy aquí en la biblioteca Billie Jean King y voy a leerles un cuento y cantar algunas canciones con ustedes en inglés y en español. How's everybody doing? Good? Okay, ¿cómo estamos? Bien, bien? Muy bien. We're gonna start this morning with our good morning song. I'm gonna get my maracas. And we'll sing first in English, and then we'll switch over to Spanish, okay? Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Good morning, good morning. How is everyone? How is everyone? It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Very nice. Good work. You guys are awake this morning. Here we go. Ahora en español. A la una. A las dos, a las tres. Buenos días, buenos días. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están? Mucho gusto verlos, mucho gusto verlos. Ping pong pan. Muy bien. Ping pong pan. Bien hecho. Good work. Okay. Vamos a seguir cantando. We're going to keep right on singing. We're going to sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Hopefully you guys know it. Vamos a cantar la canción de Estrellita, Estrellita, ¿Dónde estás? Ojalá que se la sepan. First, we're going to need our little stars. Did you bring them? Be sure to twinkle those little stars for me, okay? Get some practice in. We're going to move our hands, open and close, okay? Vamos a abrir y cerrar las manos mientras cantamos de nuestras estrellitas, all right? We're going to sing first in English. Aquí vamos. A la una. One, two, three. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Good work, very nice. I saw a lot of twinkling out there. Good job. La misma canción en español Ocupamos nuestras estrellitas. ¿Listos? A la una, a las dos, a las tres. Estrellita, ¿dónde estás? Me pregunto qué serás. En el cielo brillarás. Un diamante de verdad. Estrellita, ¿dónde estás? Me pregunto que serás. Muy bien. Good work. Bien hecho. You guys deserve a Morocco shake for that one. That was good. All right, so we're going to read our book of the day. This one is called Leonardo the Terrible Monster. It's by Mo Willems. And unfortunately, I have it only in English. Vamos a leer nuestro libro del día. Este se llama Leonardo, el monstruo terrible. Es escrito por Mo Willems. Y desafortunadamente, nomás lo tengo en inglés. Okay? You guys ready? Leonardo the Terrible Monster. Leonardo was a terrible monster. Does he look terrible? He looks kind of sad, huh? He couldn't scare anyone. He's like, Rawr! and they're like, oh, he's kind of cute. He didn't have 1,642 teeth like Tony. That's a lot of teeth, man. Imagine having to brush those before going to bed. Mm -mm. He wasn't big like Eleanor. Look at those feet. And he wasn't just plain weird like Hector. He's got antenna, a tail with a hand on the end of it. It's a little interesting. Leonardo tried very hard to be scary, but he just wasn't. He made faces, he made noises, he put on a paper bag. Not working out for him. Though. One day, Leonardo had an idea. He would find the most scaredy cat kid in the whole world, and he would scare the tuna salad out of him. He's like, oh, 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 oh. Is that very nice, though? Not really, huh? Let's see what happens. Leonardo researched. He went to the public library, read a lot of books, until one day, he found the perfect candidate. 
A candidate is like a kid that he's going to scare in this. He found Sam. Does Sam look like he'd be scared easily? Yeah, uh -huh. poor Sam. Leonardo snuck up on the poor unsuspecting boy. Poor Sam didn't even see him coming. And the monster gave it all that he had. He went, rawr, 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 rawr. and Sam's like, ah. <laughs> until the little boy cried. Yes, cheered Leonardo. I finally did it. I scared the tuna salad out of somebody. No, you didn't, snapped Sam. Oh, yeah, replied Leonardo. Then why are you crying? My mean big brother stole my action figure right out of my hands while I was still playing with it, and then he broke it on purpose, and it was my favorite toy, and I tried to fix it, but I couldn't, and I got so mad that I kicked the table, and I stubbed my toe, and it was the same foot that I hurt last month when I accidentally slipped in the bathtub after my brother's, after I got soap in my eyes trying to wash the bird poo out of my hair that my brother's cockatoo pooped on my head, and I don't have any friends, and my tummy hurts. That's why I'm crying. Leonardo's just like, oh, this poor kid is going through some stuff, man. And then Leonardo made a very big decision. What do you guys think he's going to do? Is he going to scare him again? Is he going to buy him a tuna sandwich? I don't know. Let's find out. It's okay. Oh, look, you give him a hug. Instead of being a terrible monster, he would become a wonderful friend. And now they're friends. Look, they're like, la, 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 la. That was it. Very nice, everybody. What a good book, huh? Leonardo the Terrible Monster by Mo Willems. Put that right down there. Okay, we're going to sing our next song of the day. This one is called Homes, and it's about where animals live. Okay, so we're going to need our hands, and uh, I'll teach you the rhyme first in English, and then we'll switch over to Spanish. Vamos a cantar nuestra próxima canción del día. Esta se trata de los hogares de los animales. Vamos a ocupar nuestras manitas y empezamos en inglés, ¿ok? So we're going to sing like this. We're going to go, oh, a nest is a home for a bird. Show me your nests. Very nice, very nice. And a hive is a home for a bee. Here are all the bees. A hole is a home for a mouse. Squeak, squeak. And a house is a home for me. Oh, a pond is a home for a frog. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. And a forest is a home for a tree. Sway in the wind like a tree. A cave is a home for a very big, scary, but somehow still cuddly, grizzly bear. And a house is a home for me. Very nice, you guys. Good work. Okay, we're going to sing the same song in Spanish, okay? Vamos a cantar la misma canción en español. Aquí vamos. Una colmena es donde viven las abejas. Whoa. Have a little abejas. Bzz, 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 bzz. Y un nido es el hogar del colibrí. We have our nest for our little hummingbird. Un hoyo es donde vive un ratón. There's a little mouse friend. Y una casa es un hogar para mí. And our house. Un estanque es donde vive la rana. Here we have our frog. Y el bosque es el hogar del jabalí. Our forest. Una cueva es donde vive un oso. Rawr, our bear. Y una casa es un hogar para mí. Muy bien. Good job, everybody. Very, very nice. Ahora vamos a cantar. Now we're going to sing our song about are elephants. Esta canción, this song, is very popular in Latin America. It's muy popular in Latin America. Se trata de unos elefantes. It's about some elephants and how they are hanging out on a spider's web. Están en, un, en una telaraña. So first we have to count. Let's see here. We have our elephant. We're going to put him on the spider's web and this song will sing in Spanish, okay? Aquí vamos, a la una, a las dos, a las tres. Un elefante se balanceaba sobre la tela de una araña. Como veía que resistía, fueron a llamar a otro elefante. So we have our elephant, 
He's hanging out on the spider's web, but it didn't break. So he's going to call another elephant. Here we go. Otro elefante. Aquí viene el otro, otro elefante. Aquí estamos. How many do we have now? Let's see. We have one, two. Hay que contarlos en español también. Uno, dos. Two elephants, dos elefantes. Ready? Dos elefantes se balanceaban sobre la tela de una araña. Como veían que resistía, fueron a llamar a otro elefante. Another elephant? You think this web is going to hold up three elephants? ¿Creen que esta telaraña soporte a tres elefantes? A ver. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, looks like it did. Parece que sí. Hay que contarlos. Let's count them. One, two, three. Three elephants. Uno, dos, tres. Tres elefantes. Seguimos. Tres elefantes se balanceaban sobre la tela de una araña. Como veían que resistía, fueron a llamar a otro elefante. Another one, otro. Aquí vamos. Cuatro elefantes va a soportar, va a soportar. Parece que sí. We have four elephants. It looks like the web is still holding up. Let's see. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Cuatro elefantes. Ahora en inglés. Now in English. One, two, three, four. Four elephants. Let's see. Cuatro elefantes se balanceaban sobre la tela de una araña. Como veían que resistía, fueron a llamar a otro elefante. Oh, man. They're going to call another elephant. Do you think this thing will hold up another elephant? Let's see. A ver si esto soporta otro elefante. Esta telaraña está muy fuerte. It's really strong. Okay, we have. ¿Cuántos tenemos? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Cinco elefantes. How many do we have? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five elephants. Oh, man. This is getting dicey, huh? Eso está ya muy arriesgoso. Let's see what happens. Cinco elefantes se balanceaban sobre la tela de una araña. Como veían que resistía, fueron a llamar a otro elefante. Oh no, todos se cayeron. Se quebró la telaraña. The web snapped. Also, I don't have any more elephants, so that's going to be it for today. Very nice, everybody. Muy bien. Ahora vamos a cantar una canción. Now we're going to sing a song that hopefully you all know. Esta se llama Cabeza, Hombros, Rodillas y Pies. Okay, so for this next song, if, you want to, if you're already standing up, feel free to follow along with me. If you're not standing up, this is a perfect time to get up, move around a little bit, stretch it out, and here we go, okay? We're going to sing first in English and then in Spanish. Si ya están parados, perfecto. Y si no están parados, si están sentados, ese es el tiempo perfecto para levantarse, estirarse un poco, moverse, más o menos mover el esqueleto, okay? Listos? Vamos a cantar primero en, en inglés y luego en español, okay? Here we go. So we're going to start on three. Make sure that there's plenty of space around you for this song. And one, two, three. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Good job. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Good word. Very nice. Saw a lot of action out there. Okay. The same song now in Spanish. La misma canción en español. Listos? Cabeza, hombros, rodillas y pies, rodillas y pies. Cabeza, hombros, rodillas y pies, rodillas y pies. Ojos, oídos, boca y nariz. Cabeza, hombros, rodillas y pies, rodillas y pies. Good job, muy bien. Okay, vamos a darle muy, muy rápido. We're going to go super fast, okay? We'll switch back to English. Ready? Super, super fast. Hopefully, you're ready. Okay, here we go. One, I gotta catch my breath. Two, three. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Good job, very nice. Okay. 
I gotta sit down. I'm gonna pass out. Okay. Ahora vamos a cantar nuestra canción de despedida. We're gonna sing our goodbye song now. Okay, and this one we'll sing in Spanish and then in English. Okay, vamos a cantar esta en español y luego en inglés. ¿Listos? Voy a ocupar mis maracas. Y así cantamos. Ya es hora de decirnos adiós. Ya es hora de decirnos adiós. Ya es hora de despedirnos. Saluda con la mano. Aviéntame un guiño. Ya es hora de decirnos adiós. Very nice. Good work. Okay, the same song in English. Ready? Now it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Okay, wait. Now it's time to say goodbye to our friends. See you guys next time. Now it's time to say goodbye. Wave your hands. That's a good wave. Wink your eye. Now it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Very nice. See you guys later. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you for tuning in. Gracias por verme hoy, leerles un cuento y cantar canciones con ustedes. Espero verlos muy pronto. Hopefully we'll see you guys soon, okay? Take care. Bye.